hey guys, I have something really, really exciting for you today. It is to duff my latest book. It is very excitingly titled Maths, the Chemistry Bits for GCSE, and there are versions for AQA, Edexcel, OCR, Higher, and Foundation. Because the exam boards are going to word stuff ever so slightly differently, so it's really, really important that you get the book that's specific to you. Now, this is not a revision guide because you know, you'll get your revision guide, you'll sit there, you'll highlight it, that isn't very useful. This is a workbook, so it has loads and loads of bits for you to fill in, loads and loads of equations for you to balance, loads and loads of bits on atom economy, if that's what you need for your exam board, because not every exam board covers the same stuff. That's why there are so many different versions of this book. Now, the best thing about this is that there are loads and loads of answers in the back, so all of the math skills you need for your GCSE chemistry, whether you're doing additional science or whether you're doing triple science are in here we have if I just skip quickly to the contents page we have the periodic table mass number and atomic number the number of protons neutral electrons isotopes ions atoms and elements brackets because brackets can be really tricky if you've never come across them before balancing equations all the way from you know easy C grade to stuff that my A-level students would struggle with um, relative atomic mass how to calculate the relative atomic mass or relative isotopic mass moles percentage yields related to cupcakes obviously um, atom economy half equations imperial formula reacting masses endothermic and exothermic and titration calculations all with the answers in the back now if you're a C grade student I suggest you go for the foundation version if you're a B grade student the majority of this will be applicable just a few little questions at the end of each section are really really challenging and if you're an A or an A star student then go through the whole way through the book and stuff at the end you will find really challenging. My A-level students will find some of this challenging. So, it's all there over for you on my um, website. I've put a lot of time, effort and hard work into this, guys. So hopefully you'll find it really, really useful and we can improve your GCSE grades. Good luck, guys.